here at our Jaguar Research Center, which has attended camp in the uh, 109,000 hectare meeting of the waters state park. We are trying to guarantee the possibility to see large animals such as giant otters and jaguars, and generally we succeed. This is the first time in human history that jaguars in particular have been possible to view from short range for long periods. We do not see jaguars every day, but we certainly try and most groups, almost all the groups that come here see jaguars if they spend a few nights. At the Pantanal Wildlife Center, we have a greater diversity of wildlife species and tree species than we do at the jaguar camp. At the Pantanal Wildlife Center, we have gallery forest along the Pichaim River. And the Pichaim River is the first navigable body of water on the Transpantaneta Road as you drive down from the jet port of Cuyaba. The importance of having a navigable body of water, uh, especially the Pichaim River, which is about 80 meters or 80 yards wide, is that the animals are very easy to see on both sides of the river. And the forest alongside the river is rich in monkeys and uh, special birds that are only found in that type of forest. We also have special viewing techniques, such as towers at the Jabiru nests, the Jabiru stork nests. Jabiru stork is a very spectacular bird, and this is the only viewing tower at a Jabiru stork nest in the world. We consider the combination of the Pantanal Wildlife Center at halfway down the Transpantaneta and the Jaguar Research Center at the end of the Transpantaneta in the wilderness to be a perfect combination of more typical Pantanal with a small ranch and deep wilderness Pantanal. Mm -hmm.